the next problem we're going to look at is just like problem 10 from the homework. <clears throat> okay, the problem says the prescriber ordered Zyprexa, 8.5 milligrams, intramuscularly stat. Okay, so that means immediately. So intramuscularly immediately. Read, read the information on the drug package in figure 9.30. And it's going to ask you a few questions. So I'm going to let you answer the uh, first two questions in number 10. <clears throat> but we'll go ahead and do uh, the last question together uh, with the uh, different numbers. Okay, so we're going to skip these two questions, since you can do those on your own. <clears throat> and we'll do this last one. So how many milliliters will we administer? So first of all, we don't have enough information, right? We just, we just have the amount we're supposed to give to the patient, which is 8.5 milligrams. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is read the, the drug package in the figure and determine the strength of the drug. Okay, and this is hard to read, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it. Okay, so even though it's still hard to see, it, it, it appears to say that, that each milliliter will contain 5 milligrams of this drug. So... So in one milliliter, there are five milligrams of the drug. So that, that's the strength. Okay, so according okay, to the okay, the drug package, there are five milligrams per milliliter. Of the drug, okay, after it has been reconstituted. Okay, so once we have that information, we're going to take the 8.5 milligrams and then multiply it by okay, one milliliter over five milligrams. So essentially what we're doing is we're dividing by five to get the amount to administer to the patients in milliliters. Okay, so um, 8.5 divided by five is 1.7 milliliters. So that's the amount we would administer to the patient intramuscularly. Okay, so to answer these two questions, you, you would simply look at the drug label for the relevant information, and then your answer would be, would be somewhere uh, on this uh, drug label. Okay, so I encourage you to, to look at that closely to answer the first two questions. And we're skipping questions that ask you about syringe sizes, so you're going you're, you're gonna to skip part D of question 10. Okay, so the next example we're going to do um, is one like number 15. Okay, so, another, um, so in other words, I'm skipping over problems that, that I think you're going to be able to do on your own. All right, so number 15 is the next one we're going to do, but with different numbers. <clears throat> okay, so it says the prescriber ordered this medication, 25 milligrams per kilogram intramuscularly stat. Okay, which means right away. So we're going to use the label in the figure to calculate the number of milliliters we would administer to a patient who weighs 145 pounds. Okay. So again, this is a dosage that is based on the patient's weight in the kilograms. Okay, and the patient's weight is given in pounds. So the first order of business is to convert the patient's weight into kilograms. Okay, so you go from pounds to kilograms. You're going to divide by 2.2. OK, 
Okay, so pay on to cancel. Okay, so we have 145 divided by 2.2, .2, and it's not going to be an even decimal, right? It's going to be kind of a nasty decimal. All right, so let's go to round that to nurse tenth. So the patient's weight in kilograms is 65.9. Okay, and we're going to take the patient's weight in kilograms. Okay, and multiply by the amount given in the drug order, which is 25 milligrams per one kilogram. Okay, so we're going to multiply by 25 milligrams. Okay, over one kilogram. Okay, and this will give us the number of milligrams to give to the patient. So 65.9. Multiply by 25, and dividing by 1 will, will have no effect, so we're just going to multiply by 25. Okay, so we get 1647.5 milligrams. Okay, but remember, the question is asking how many milliliters. Okay, so we need to figure out the number of milliliters to give to the patient. <clears throat> so let's go back to the book here. So again, anytime you inject a drug into a patient's body, right, the drug is usually going to be in liquid form. Okay, if the drug is not already in liquid form, okay, the drug has to be reconstituted. It has to be mixed with a, with a liquid before you can give it to the patient. Okay, so on the label, right, what we're looking for is the strength of the drug. So in, in bright yellow, it says one gram is in 2.5 milliliters, but in, in parentheses below that, uh, it says uh, 400 milligrams per one milliliter. Okay, so that's the strength we're going to use. And now we can certainly use this, but we would have to convert the one gram into milligrams. Okay, you would have to do that extra step if you, if you use the one gram per 2.5 milliliter strength. Okay, but this strength here in yellow is equivalent to the one in parentheses. So, so one, one gram for every 2.5 milliliters is equivalent to 400 milligrams for every one milliliter, and, and you can verify that by converting the one gram into uh, milligrams. Okay, remembering that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. Okay, so this is the strength we're going to use. So four milligrams per milliliter, four hundred milligrams. Okay, per milliliter is the strength okay, indicated on the drug label. Okay. So we're going to take that 1647.5 milligrams, all right, and multiply by one milliliter. Over 400 milligrams. Okay, so again, multiplying by one has no effect. So we're going to take that 1647.5 and divide it by 400 to get the answer. Okay, I mean, we get slightly above four milliliters. So since it's the, the answer is greater than one milliliter, we're going to round that to the nearest tenth. All right, so we would administer approximately 4.1 milliliters to the patient. Okay, so we've got one more example we're going to do for this video. Okay, it's going to be an example just like number 19. Okay, and number 19, you're going to do both parts, A and B. Okay, so this says that a patient weighs 123 pounds, and the daily recommended safe dose range for a certain drug is 0 0.02 to 0 0.07 milligrams per kilogram. So this is the safe dose range, so this is the low end of the safe range, and this is the high end. Okay, so minimum and maximum. Again, this is based on a patient's weight in kilograms. And the first question says, what is the minimum number of milligrams of this drug that, that this patient should receive each day. Okay, so again, the first order of business is to convert the patient's weight into kilograms, right? So, that, so since this is based on the patient's weight in kilograms, okay, so like we've done before, okay, we're going to divide that by 2.2. .2. 
Okay, so one kilogram over 2.2 pounds. Okay, so 123 divided by 2.2 okay, is about 55.9. All right, so once you have the patient's weight in kilograms, we can figure out the minimum number of milligrams and then the maximum number of milligrams the patient can receive for the dose to be safe. So we have 55.9 kilograms multiplied by Okay, so for the minimum of 0 0.02 milligrams per kilogram. Okay, so 55.9 times 0 0.02. Okay, it's 1.118. So I would say to be on the safe side, let's go to round this to the nearest nearest uh, hundredth, so which would be two decimal places. Okay, so that, that would simply be 1.12. Okay, you can always check with how many places they round the answer in the book whether it's one or two. So I'm going to go ahead and include two decimal places here. So 1.12 is the minimum dose the patient should receive. Okay, I'm just copy the previous work here to do the other part to calculate the maximum dose. So this is going to be 0 0.07 instead of 0 0.02. Okay, so 55.9 multiplied by 0 0.07. Okay, it's three. 0.913, so when rounded to the nearest hundredth, that's 3.91. Okay, so the safe dose range of this medication for the patient who weighs 123 pounds is about 1.12 milligrams minimum. All right, up to uh, 3.91 milligrams maximum. Thank you for watching.